Here's another quick tip for like a Captivate. I'm in version 5. I've been asked the question, can you scale a DXF? The answer to that question is yes, with one caveat. Uh, to scale a DXF, that DXF is going to have to be imported into your project. So just to give you an overview, I'm going to go to the 3D viewer screen. I've imported several points, uh, 33 points and two lines. Uh, this is a little boundary survey and we needed to mark the property line here in the middle. So want to be able to scale that, um, that this information. So how would we do that? Well, the first thing again, I've imported the DXF into the project. So the line work is part of the project. Um, I can't do the scaling on import of the DXF, but what I can do is go to the Kogo functionality and select the shift, rotate, and scale option. I will just leave the method to manually entered. Press OK. Uh, in this case, I'm going to scale everything in the drawing, so I'll just select add all. Now this adds all the points, uh, which is what we want. So we'll press OK. Press OK again, and I'm not going to rotate, not going to shift. I just want to scale, so I'll select the scale option. I'll type in my scale factor. Um, you know, here in Northern Virginia, typically grid to ground is um, is about 500 per thousand feet. I'm not going to scale from the point. Um, if you wanted, you could scale around the center of your project, something of that nature. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do when I press calculate, I'm sorry, wrong calculate, I'll press enter and then press this calculate. Uh, what it does is it comes up and tells me that I haven't entered a, a, rota a rotation or a scale point and it's going to assume that that value is zero. So the scale is going to take place around the origin and that's what I want in this situation. So I'll just say yes. Uh, a couple of things you do want, uh, this is my recommendation, I want to keep the original point numbers and I want to keep them stored in the original job. Uh, so that's what I have here and I've set this to store to original point IDs. I want to delete the original points, uh, that way I don't have duplicate points in the job. And I want to shift, rotate and scale my line work. This is a new feature that's been added recently and I want to go ahead and delete the old original line work. So I've got all my settings correct. I'll press store and it just tells me that it's completed the process or it's completing the process. So I'll say yes. I'll say yes to all so that it overwrites the points. So number of new points were created was 32. Um, press OK here. Go back to my home screen. Back to my 3D viewer, let's check everything out. Everything looks to be the same. Let's go ahead and check our coordinates. And in this case, originally when I started this project, I had my values for number three were 5,000, 10,000. And now you'll see that they have been scaled by that uh, 500 per thousand feet value that we entered in. So you're done.